Recently, Thermaltake announced their latest chassis in their unique open frame wall mountable Core P series, the Core P3. Late last year, we saw the arrival of the Core P5, and since then, the PC modding community has gone wild with this case, creating loads of amazing custom liquid cooled builds. Given the success of the P5, Thermaltake has been looking to create yet another case to entice modders. That case was announced early this month and is now known as the Core P3, and it's surprisingly similar to the P5 in many ways, while being quite different at the same time. Let me explain. Essentially, what we have here is a miniaturized version of the P5. However, this isn't a mini ITX or even micro. ATX version, rather standard ATX motherboards are still supported. Despite being a little over 30% smaller, the hardware support remains much the same. As popular as the P5 was, many complained about its size, even for a case supporting the ATX form factor, it was still pretty big. Unless you went all out with the liquid cooling, the P5 had a lot of wasted space. The P3 corrects this while still offering plenty of room for extreme liquid cooling setups. Prior to the P3's release, Thermaltake asked if I'd like an early review sample and well, how could I turn down an offer like that? Having seen all the epic hard pipe liquid cooled P5 cases online, I thought it would be cool to try and make one of my own. Completely ignoring the fact that I haven't really played around with custom water cooling before, I promptly fired off a cheeky email to Thermaltake asking if they'd supply the hardware for a custom hard pipe liquid cooled P3 build. To my slight surprise, they came back and said, sure Matt, that sounds great, let's work out what you need from the TT Premium store and we'll make it happen. With that, I didn't hesitate for a moment and began shopping. Before long, I made a list of over a dozen individual parts of what I'd hoped would make for an awesome build. Thermaltake agreed to sponsor my spending spree, which totaled well over a thousand Aussie dollars for all the bits along with the P3 case and their new Tough Power RGB Gold 850 watt power supply. Shortly after all that, everything arrived and it quickly dawned on me that I had almost zero experience with this stuff. Thermaltake had made a big investment in this video so I couldn't let them down. So then, other than all the great looking Thermaltake gear, what else was planned for the build? At the heart of the build, I thought ASRock's X99 Tai Chi motherboard would look the part. Plus, I've received about 10,000 requests for a review of this thing. This new X99 board sports an amazing looking black and white theme with a nice pattern splash on the PCB. The board doesn't just look pretty either, there's some great features on board too. Features such as Purity Sound 3, dual Intel Gigabit LAN, a 12 power phase design, dual band AC Wi-Fi, dual Ultra M2 slots, USB 3.1 and much much more are included. What shocked me the most about the X99 Tai Chi is the price. Incredibly it costs just 220 US or 300 Aussie dollars. For a motherboard of this caliber I would expect to pay a lot more. In keeping with the black and white theme of ASRock's X99 Tai Chi, G Skill has graciously sent along one of their Trident Z 64GB 3200MHz black and white DDR4 memory kits. Priced at around $450 US dollars or $650 Aussie dollars, this memory isn't cheap, though this is the asking price for 64GB of DDR4 3200. The new Trident Z colorway looks amazing and this black and white memory is going to look right at home in our P3 build. For storage, I'll be installing a single Kingston UV400 480GB solid state disc, which is actually a pretty sensible cost effective option, so I'm not sure how that happened. Just kidding, it's new and it's also going to suit the build to a T. Anyway, at 125 US dollars or 165 Aussie dollars, the UV400 480GB is a very affordable SSD. Performance wise, it's very much what you'd expect from a modern SATA 6 gigabit per second SSD. Of course, if you want something with a little more punch, a pair of Samsung 950 Pro M2 SSDs can be installed as well. Rather than use my insanely overpriced Core i7-6950X for this build, I'll be going with the previous generation's 5960X. Since this will be a gaming machine, a lesser Haswell-E or Broadwell-E processor would work just as well. That said, the 5960X was in my current gaming rig, and since I plan to make the P3 my new gaming machine, I brought it over. Speaking of gaming, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Founders Edition will be my GPU of choice. Wait, what? Why the Founders Edition, I hear you say? Yep, there's a reason I'm going to use this, and it has to do with all that Thermaltake liquid cooling gear. You might have seen me unboxing the Pacific GTX Transparent 10 Series Founders Edition water block earlier this week. Well, this block's going to be installed on the Founders Edition 1080 in this build, so I hope the graphics card choice makes more sense now. Powering all this hardware is the new Tough Power RGB Gold 850W power supply. This unit sells for 180 US, and although it's yet to go on sale down under, I'm told the recommended retail price is $229. This power supply comes complete with a 140mm RGB fan and features 100% Japanese capacitors. Ideally for this build it's 100% modular and I'll be using TT Mod's blue and black sleeve cable extensions too. Making up the rest of the system are a heap of bits and bobs from Thermaltake. 
Keeping the Core i7-5960X cool will be the Pacific W3 CPU water block. This block features extremely thin 0.15mm fins connected to a copper base which maximizes heat extraction and prevents corrosion. Showing all this off is a high quality PWMA cover that allows users to see directly through the water block. The next piece of the cooling puzzle is the dual 140mm fan radiator known as the Pacific RL280. Thermatech say this radiator has been constructed from high quality German zinc alloy, aluminium and aerospace grade materials. It's available in configurations of 140mm, 280mm, 420mm and 560mm. Pumping air through the radiator will be a pair of ring 140mm blue LED fans. Then we have the Pacific PR22D5 Silent Kit Reservoir and Pump Combo. The acrylic tank can hold 300ml of liquid while the pump features a maximum flow rate of 1135 litres per hour. This version of the pump includes an aluminium kit that not only hides the ugly pump but also helps to reduce noise. Hopefully, directing the liquid where it's meant to go are Thermaltex V Tubular PETG tubes. In total, I've got four 1 meter tubes, and depending on how well things go, I suspect I'll only need two of them. Helping things progress as planned will be the Pacific Hard Tube Bender Kit, a must have item at 90 Aussie dollars. Finally, finishing the system off and hopefully giving it that hardware unboxed blue look is Thermaltex C1000 Blue Liquid Coolant. Made in Germany, the C1000 opaque coolant is virtually odorless, non-flammable and high performance liquid, offering superb protection for copper, nickel, brass and aluminium. So the plan is now to install all this hardware into the P3, which I'll do shortly in an upcoming video entitled Part 2, Component Install, a simple way of saying, what have I got myself into? That'll be followed by Part 3, the liquid cooling, where I'll no doubt have a blast bending tubes at all the wrong angles. Finally, part 4 will include some good old fashioned benchmarks and a look at the CPU and GPU temperatures, assuming the GTX 1080 survives the ordeal in part 3. Now, I actually have an awesome announcement to make. I've teamed up with Thermaltake to give away 3, yes, 3 of these awesome Core P3 cases. And the competition is international, so 3 lucky viewers are going to be receiving the exact same model case I'm using in this build. All you have to do to enter is head over to hardwareunbox.com, sign up for the forums and post up a photo of your current rig, some info about your specs and a short explanation of why you want the Core P3. Good luck for the competition and let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm your host Matt as always and I'll see you guys next time. YouTubers like me depend on your support to continue improving the quality and content of our videos. To support the channel directly, consider becoming a patron to also get access to a heap of cool rewards and exclusive giveaways. Also, don't forget you can check prices and buy the products I looked at in this video through the Amazon links in the video description below. Thank you kindly for supporting me and the Hardware Unbox channel, it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it, and in return I'll continue to work as hard as I can to keep producing the content you enjoy.